Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. And Shalom to the whole elect that is also pushing forth this word, this ministry. Uh, you sincere Akim that, is, uh, that has taken upon the plow and that's continually doing this thing non-stop, man. Um, much due honors to you, Akim. And the vi title of this video is entitled Sophia, in which Sophia is the uh, Greek, or should I say, that's a Greek word in which the English translation of that word Sophia is wisdom. All right? That's why you, when you read the Bible, specifically in uh, Proverbs and you know, and, and especially this book here I have in front of me, which is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach. Whenever it speaks about, uh, it speaks about a woman in which, you know, she does all these things that's spoken about in Proverbs. And, and um, you know, the sad reality is that these people think that it's uh, actually talking about an uh, actual woman. All right, but see, if you try to find a woman like that nowadays, you, that, that's impossible, man. None of these women, you know, fit, fits the uh, the bill, fits the criteria of what the scripture is talking about when it speaks about that particular woman. But see, the woman that is talking about is talking about Sophia, which is uh, wisdom. I mean, that's us uh, like it. Um, Sophia is the the Greek word for wisdom. All right, and see, um, the Lord deals with Sophia. All right, the Lord deals with wisdom. Okay, because there's a scripture where it says, uh, "The Lord loveth none but them that dwell with wisdom." So you coming into this thing, man. You know you have to. You have to yearn for wisdom, man. You have to be adamant about wisdom. You have to, you have to, um, well, what's another word that I'm looking for? You basically have to give, give your all for wisdom, man. And not just any, any sort of wisdom, you know, you know, the wisdom of the world, because the scriptures speak about that in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, where it speaks about the wisdom of the world, in which the wisdom of the world is foolishness to the most high. You know these, you know these guys that have PhDs and doctor's degrees, stuff like that, saying that they got an education. Well, their wisdom is is uh, means nothing to you. How about Shemuel Shai, man? That that those things that they learn is is uh, accounted for as as dung. All right, Lord doesn't care about that. All right, but see, the real wisdom is the wisdom of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. That's the real wisdom that that he deals with. All right. And which is which is uh, what entails with that kind of wisdom is how everything is ordered, you know, from the uh, the food chain, the animals, uh, how uh, <clears> that the natural order, the natural order of things, um, the seasons, days. Years. All right, that's a complete order. Well, um, time, which the, those are days and years, which is um, which is time. All right, time itself is um, is in wisdom. All right, or, that, or should I say, the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, because the Most High dwells outside of time. All right, because you were going to the book of uh, I believe it's First Peter, if I'm not mistaken. It says um. Said a day to the Lord. I think it's Second Peter. It's like it said a day to the Lord is as a thousand years, and in a thousand years is a day. All right. The air that we breathe, the food that we eat—I uh, mean, it's, it's everything, man. Everything that you see around you is consisted of 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 order, and not only that, 
the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Everything is ordered. Everything is put together. Even from the be from the beginning when the world was made. All right. That's why wisdom is um uh, is far more precious than anything that you can ever think of, man. Wisdom in itself is 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 what gets you um your riches. All right, not the riches. All right, because a person can get riches right and not know what to do with it all right a person can have a piece of land and livestock but if they don't have the wisdom to to order his his land and his livestock then he's gonna lose it in no time man so that's why I'm re reiterating the point that we have to be adamant about wisdom man with Wisdom is the principal thing, man. Even the scriptures tell you that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And not only that, it said, with all that getting, get understanding. All right. So the wisdom that we have is far, far above the other ideologies and other, you know, different, different stuff that they got out um, wandering around in the airways you know this vibration that's going about in America the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai trumps everything that you see around you even from the top top people that let's say they got PhDs you know um, because you have a few of those that stop by the camp and, and you know what happens they get confounded all right you want to know why they get confounded is because the knowledge wisdom and understanding of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is is, the, is a supreme Okay, and not only that, man, it's in this for for the righteous. It's, it's simple, man. Even that scripture, it says, uh, it says it's easy. Well, roughly paraphrasing, it said, um, it's plain to the righteous, but it's a stumbling block to the wicked. See, because the the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is plain to us, man. It's as plain as day, man, and, and, and it's really, it's like common sense. You know, it's it's first nature, something easy to understand. Just like the um, thing about the Gentiles, man, that's easy to understand, man. The mark of the beast, that's easy to understand. Okay. The Cornelius issue, that's. Which shouldn't even be an issue because once again it's easy to understand, man. But to the wicked is a stumbling block. So the, the Cornelius issue, the, the Gentile issue, those are stumbling blocks because these guys are wicked, man. Alright? And I'm directing this at, at the heads of these these other camps, man. Outside of Great Millstone. Alright? Now going to the scripture, this is, I'm gonna start off with uh Sirach chapter 9 verse 18 it says my son gather instruction from thy youth up so shalt thou find wisdom to thine old age, old age. it's like it verse 19 come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth and wait for her good fruits and see what comes with uh, wisdom is uh, patience man alright a person can't come into the truth and um, expect to know everything from day one it takes time, man. That's that's wisdom that has to be cultivated within you and, and sprout. All right, because the scripture where it says uh, the prophets have uh, sold, um, roughly paraphrasing, the prophets have sold um, Paul. Paul watereth, but it's the Most High to give the increase. Okay. So in due season. Whatever uh, gift that the brothers have, you know, it pretty much have to wait, wait for it to cultivate a plant. When you when you sow a seed in the ground, it doesn't automatically become a tree in you know in in a matter of 24 hours. All right, you have to wait for you have to wait seasons for that to uh, to uh, grow and become a tree. You have to wait months. You know, you have to wait years, man. Or however long it takes to grow, but it's it's a it's a, a tedious process. That's how wisdom is, man. 
it's a, it's a tedious process to, to, to gain wisdom, man. But you have to uh, toil in order to get it, man. You have to work for it. All right? It's not given to you, man. Okay? And it says, For thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. All right? She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He, he that is without understanding will not remain with her. All right, so if you don't have understanding, if you're if you're a simpleton, you're not gonna remain with her, man. Wisdom's not gonna not gonna dwell with you. All right, that's why I said she's unpleasant to the unlearned, man. And I'm gonna put a staple on that, man. She's very unpleasant to niggas, man. All right, because even in the book of Sirach, man, it says uh, riches, which riches represent this knowledge. Actually, the riches represents this wisdom. It says, uh, riches are not comely for a niggard, man. Alright. Now, reading on, it says, um, well, actually, I'm going to start at verse 20 again. It says, she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He does uh, without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. Alright. So, and that's how guys is, man. Says so she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial because it is a, a trial, man. All right. Because not only do you have to learn, yeah, or let me rephrase that. Not only do do you have to um, be patient with learning, but you also have to go go through some experiences, man. That's why the apostle elders are on in the position that they are, man, because they they've been through it already. All right, in order for you to learn learn about, you know, that because there's certain things that you can just read or, or just hear about, you know, and, and learn under the apostle elders, but it's another thing to actually experience it, man, because they can tell you what what they went through, right? But if you haven't experienced it, then then um, you really you haven't learned anything, man. All right. Because once you once you experience it and you get through it and you remain in this thing wholeheartedly, then you can uh, you can uh, pretty much teach others that are going through the same situation, man. Now uh, I'm start verse twenty one again. It says she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial. This is, and this, this is why the Lord gave gave us the name Great Millstone, man. Because Great Millstone is that, that mighty stone of trial, man. We, you know, we don't just, you know, let all Israel in our camps, man. All right? There's a requirement when it comes to this thing of ours, man. And it's not us, man. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahshua that has set that requirement. All right? So don't look at us like like we're like we're something, all right? Because we're nothing, man. It's Yahweh Bashim is the one that made the rules, man, not us. All right. So it says, uh, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. So, you know, niggas get impatient, man. They want it now. All right. And then they'll cast that that stone off of them. All right. And say, you know, oh man, this man, this ain't what I thought it would be. You know, they get them kind of thoughts, man. They, and they, you know, they take it off their backs and then they go right back into the world, man. Because they got impatient. Especially the guys that thought that, um, you know, the prophecies that were spoken about in the scriptures haven't came to pass yet. And then they realize that, and then they look at it as like, oh, man, it's taking too long, man. I thought we we're going to have the kingdom now. You know, they get those kind of thoughts, man, and they leave. They fall out the truth and they go back into the world, man. Go back to that same mm -hmm. person that they've been before. All right, and it says, uh, "For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many." See, and there it is, man. Wisdom for wisdom is according to her name, and what's her name? Sophia. All right, and she is not manifest unto many. See that? that hey, that's a separation. He says she's not made manifest unto many, man. But what's the opposite of many? Few. All right. So, if you want to rephrase that, that means she's only manifest to a, a, a few. All right, the few of the um, 
of the nation of Israel and that fused the 144,000. Okay? So now everybody have wisdom, man. You got to understand that. Okay? Verse 23 said, Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. And put thy feet into her fetters, and thy neck into her chain. Because when you, when you, part, when you, um, pretty much, um, take up and learning wisdom, of, and not only wisdom, wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you're pretty much, you're becoming a prisoner. All right? And you know if that what scripture that falls by, uh, falls under is the scripture where it speaks about, um, where Yahweh Shai says, um, says my yoke is easy and my burden is, is, uh, easy to bear. Roughly paraphrasing. He said, take my yoke upon you for I am meek and lowly. And also too, Paul even uh, considered himself a prisoner of Yahweh Shai. So yeah, we are prisoners of Yahweh Shai, man. We, we giving ourselves over to wisdom, man. In which Yahweh Shai is wisdom, man. That falls right in line with, for lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, in, in the book of Hebrews, in the book of Psalms too. For lo, I come in the volume of the book. Yahweh Shai said that, man. All right? So the book is concerning Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai is that wisdom that I'm talking about. All right? But she has a name, and her name is Sophia. Okay? I already know. <laughs> now I'm just reading the spirit. I said I already know that. I know I got some guys probably just uh, probably lost their minds. <laughs> There's too much. There's too much meat, man. But I mean, to some, I mean, to the, to the majority, yeah, this is meat to uh, meat to some some people, some some jakes. You know, this is meat to them. But you know, to this man, it's it's like milk. You know, after after X amount of years and experiences, and you you start to realize it's, it's easier to take down. Really, you know, it just come with age, man. You, it, there's a thing called aging in this truth. Whenever you uh you've been in truth for so for you know so many years, you, you start to age, and you know you, it's it's easy to take things in. You know, it's just like milk and meat, and that's scriptural too, man. Where it speaks about the um, the milk. You know, um. You can only take in the milk because you you can't take in meat because you won't be able to bear it. And the reason why I'm saying that because you know I already know got guys that um thinking that you know what, dang you got your house shot and then you got Sophia and you know which one is it, you know? Well, the thing about your house shot being the embodiment of wisdom that's that's too deep, man. Actually, that's a, that's another topic for another video. All right. But like I said before, Yahweh Shai is the embodiment of wisdom, right? Like I said before, as you know, I'm going to that. Lord willing, I'm going to another video. And um, so wisdom dwells with Yahweh Shai, and that wisdom has a name in which the name is Sophia. Okay. Now uh, continuing on in the scripture, uh, this is verse uh, 25. It says. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with our bonds. Come unto her with thy whole heart. That means that you can't be half stepping trying to get this, man. It's whether you're all in or you're all out. You can't be lukewarm, man. Scripture speak about that, man. You hot about Shemel Sean warn about that, about being lukewarm. It's whether you're hot or cold, man. If you're lukewarm, he's going to spew you out of his mouth. All right? And keep her ways. With all thy power. So hold on to her with all your might, man. And don't let it go. Okay? Don't let this thing go, man. This is, you know, it's, it's just knowing that Yahweh Shah is about to return and get us out of here, man. That's, that should be com um, conviction enough for you to hold on to this thing for dear life, man. Okay? Verse 27 says, Search and seek. And she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. All right, so there we go, man. That's just reiterating what I just said, man. That was, that was spirit. You know, I, I didn't even know that was that was uh, there. 
verse 28 it says for at the last thou shalt find her rest and that shall be turned to thy joy all right so soon it's going to be turned to your joy man all right that's why I said wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times in Isaiah uh, 30, 33 and 6. Alright, so wisdom is going to keep you stable in that time, man. Alright? So all the, the, the toiling that you that you did obtaining wisdom, it's going to be your joy in the future, man. Why is that? Because your Yahweh Bashim Yashai is, is going to exalt his men in the near future. The ones that dwell with wisdom. Because like I said before, the scripture where it says, The Lord loveth none but them that dwell with wisdom. Okay? It says, For at the last thou shalt find her rest, and that shall be turned to thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains, chains a robe of glory. For there is a golden ornament upon her head, and her bands of purple lace. Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor, and shalt put her about thee as a crown of joy. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. Okay? So, moving on from there, I'm going to get the book of uh, Surat, chapter 4. Uh, let's see if I can get it real quick. Alright, this is the book of Surat, uh, chapter 4. And I'm starting at verse 11. It says, Wisdom exalteth her children and layeth hold of them that seek her. He that loveth her loveth life. See, uh, he that loveth her loveth life, man. All right? Because this wisdom falls back on the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, which pertains unto life, man. All right? Anything that's opposite of the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah is death, man. Look around us, man. Look at the place we're living in, man. Look at America. Do you think that there's anything about America that, that pertains unto the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah? And the answer to that is no. There's not. So what is the end of, of you know, a person that's aligned with America? Death. Okay. That says, uh, that verse, um, that's like I lost my place. Oh, uh, yeah, verse 12, it says, He that loveth her loveth life, and they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory. And I'll just like it. And wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless. All right? Now, the wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless, talking about uh, the men of the Lord, man. All right? Because wisdom resides in the minds of, of the men of the Lord. All right? So in due time, um, you'll be blessed. Okay? Verse 14. It says, They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One, and them that love her, the Lord doth love. See? And that re that, that actually bags up the scripture where it actually says, The Lord loveth none but them that dwell with wisdom. All right? It says, And them that love her, the Lord doth love, man. All right? So, read on, man, at verse uh, 15, it says, Whosoever giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her dwelleth safely. I like it. Let me read that again. It says, uh, Whosoever giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. Hey, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. There's a scripture being made manifest in this precept right here. Alright, so verse 16. If a man commit herself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Because wisdom is is, is um, brought down from generation to generation, man. But see, you don't see that nowadays, man, in society, man. You you know, Jake, you know, Jake fathers, you know, they teach their children how to be straight up demons. You know, but an honorable father is the one that that uh, passes down the wisdom and knowledge down to to his sons, and then they pass it down to their their sons and his sons and their sons, you know, and he keeps going, man. Okay. 
And if you commit yourself unto her, then you you will attain her, man. You will, you will inherit her. All right. But like I said before, it goes back into patience, man. You have to be patient in order to obtain her. Okay. Now, verse seventeen says, "For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways." So it's at first it's going to be a uh, hell, man. It's going to be hell at, at, at the first, right? It says, and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with their discipline. All right? Because you have to be really uh, disciplined to uh, to maintain wisdom, man. Really, that's go that goes into integrity. Right? And you, can't, you really can't find much of that in Israel today. All right? So it says, for at the first you will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with a discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Oh, there, there there's, there's that word laws, man. What does that go back into? The law, statutes, and commandments. All right? In which, that means keeping it to the, uh, whichever ones that you can keep. All right? Now reading on verse 18 it says Then will she return the straight way Unto him and comfort him And show him her secrets Alright So the deeper that you go into this thing The um, The more that you'll learn Alright But the thing is you have to be You have to keep keep uh, plowing that and plow that and keep going keep going keep keep going deeper keep going deeper and then, and then you uh you learn more than what you think man even still to this day man there's not one person in this in this thing of ours that said that they know everything even the apostle elders they they, they spoke on this man they said that hey they still learn it and that's a heavy thing for for the apostle elders after they've been doing this thing for so many years they said they, they said themselves that they still have more to learn. So that lets you know the gravity of wisdom, man. That lets you know how, how deep you how about Shimei Al Shai is, man. You you only we're only scratching the surface right now, man. Just imagine how much more is out there that we don't know. Alright? You you can't you can't imagine it, man. You can't even think about it. But you know if that's just some that's just something to think about, man. Alright? Now verse 19 says, but if you go wrong, like what's that what's that talking about? But if you go wrong, in other words, fall out, leave the truth. Alright, go back into the world. It says, but if you go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. That that means that spells your death, man. That'll be your death. Okay. So it lets you know how serious this thing is. Now moving on from now, I want to get the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 31. And I'm starting at verse 10. It says, who can find a virtuous woman? For a price is far above rubies. All right. Now, there's actually two scriptures that, that uh, speak about that. How uh, her price is far above rubies. And which that's true, man. Wisdom in itself. Because this scripture, actually the scripture is talking about wisdom. That scripture... Um, in particular verse 10 right here her price is far above rubies man because it's is is of the highest degree to have wisdom man you know you can have all the money in the world you know you might be the richest man on the planet earth but if you don't if if you don't have wisdom man then then those riches are nothing man all right and not only that man wisdom this wisdom pertains on the life man so why you want to um Waste your time getting a certain rich because you how shot warned about that too, man. Saying that um you know labor not to be rich in this world because this these riches are right out, man. And they're gonna disappear. Okay? That's why I say uh lay up your tre lay up your treasures in heaven, which neither moth nor rust uh can corrupt. Alright. Verse eleven says the heart of her husband does safely trust in her. Don't we don't we safely trust in wisdom? Alright. It says so that he shall have no need of spoil. And that's how we are, man. We don't have no need of spoil, man. All we want 
is we want we want to learn more. We want to know more about you. How about Shimi Al Shai, man? All right. It's better to be a man of wisdom than than it is to be a, a carnal man. That's that's um that's too that's too busy trying to get rich in the world. Obtain all these uncertain riches. All right. Verse 12 it says she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. You see, <laughs> working willingly with her hands, man. Wisdom flows, man. It flows. It's just like living water. All right. It constantly flows, man. It, it's not stagnant. It doesn't stay in one place. The thing about stagnant waters is that it gets dirty and, you know, bugs and creatures start living there. All right? Until it, it looks like a marsh. But living waters is, is uh, those are clean waters, man. And fresh. Because it continually circulates. All right? And it's also going into doing the work too, man. Being diligent. All right. Now, verse fourteen says she is like the merchant ships; she bringeth her fruit from afar. Oh, what's that talking about? Talking about the east, Israel, man. Okay. So we're we're obtaining the uh, an eastern mentality while being in the, in this truth. Okay. Verse 15, she ariseth also while it is yet night. Oh, uh, are we are we in the um the midnight hour? Isn't this isn't this the midnight hour? Isn't isn't this the the point in time now to where a cry is being made? Because Yahweh Shah spoke about the uh, the parable of the ten virgins, man. There was a cry made at midnight. We're we're in that that nighttime hour right now, man. And the sun is about to arise, which the sun is Yahweh Shai. Alright? Says she rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household, the the brotherhood, man, and a portion to her maidens. Once once again, the brotherhood, man, the house, the house of Yahweh Shimei Shai, the body of Yahweh Shimei Shai, the house of David. All right, verse sixteen. She considered the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted the vineyard. She girded her loins with strength. And strengthen her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Don't we do the same? Don't we do the same thing? He said, "Look, this is good doctrine, man. This is this is the this is the way. This is the truth and the life, man. You have to follow this. Do you see? Even now, as I speak, man, say, look, we perceive that the merchandise is good. All right. It says her candle goeth not out by night. All right, and our candles and our candles are burning, man." All right, we're 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 literally walking lights to this world, man. This world is full of darkness. All right, and Yahweh Bashim Yashai has lit that candle, and that candle is is the brothers of of Great Millstone, man. Okay. It says she layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. Hey, we're reaching out to our people, man. All right, when we're doing this work, okay. So reading on, man it says she is. Oh, 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 my goodness! Let me read this. Verse 20, twenty-one. Verse twenty-one. She is not afraid of the snow, for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She's not afraid of the. She's not afraid of the snow. We already know one one guy in particular that we know is afraid of the snow. All right, um, kind of well we <laughs> yeah yeah come straight out of a uh, Jungle Book movie. You know who I'm talking who I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> but quash, but yeah man. Um, it says she is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. All right, because we're on fire for this thing, man. All right, so even the snow, the snow can't stop us, man. No, no snow's gonna stop us. No cold weather's gonna stop us, man. We're soldiers out here, man. 
we're on the front lines. Ain't no snow gonna stop us from going out and doing the work. That's that's nothing, man. All right, that's nothing compared to what's about to happen in the future. Jacob's trouble. That 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 uh that fiery furnace that we got to go through, the, with those which is those martial law troops. All right. It says um, uh, she maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. All right. Now, mind you, purple is a uh, color of royalty. All right. Scarlet is a, is a color of, I believe, I believe scarlet is a, is a color of royalty too. Scarlet and purple, but you know, um, I have to do more research on that. Um. It says her um, her husband is known in the gates. Oh, are we known in the gates? Great millstone, the the ones that everyone hates so much. You know, throws our name in the dirt. All right, say so her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are our clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. All right, and we're getting close to that time now. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Oh, ooh. That's cold. Let me read that again. It says she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. See? Now, you can't be idle in this thing, man. You have to be diligent, man. You have to keep your hands working. All right? Because there's a scripture where it says uh, idleness teaches much wickedness. All right? And also, too, man, um, it's like it. It's like it. Uh, read on. Verse 28 says her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Ah, uh, see? It says, Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all, man. Alright? Read on. It says, Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own words praise her in the gates. See, and that, and that pretty much ends off the, uh, that's pretty much it, man. Um, this is, I know I went through a whole chapter in Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31 is a, is a bad chapter, man. Actually, all the scriptures are bad, man, but this one here where it speaks about wisdom, man, this, this goes in, man. Let's let you know you how about Shemel Shah has nothing to play with. All right? So once again, man, this lesson uh, was called wisdom, or, or should I say Sophia, which, you know, it really is the same same uh word but sophia is the greek um word for wisdom and wisdom is the english word for the greek word sophia so uh you know lord willing um you all can we edify with this video this lesson um until next time um once again i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh baha shim shai double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that continually rule very well and um, peace and safety to the whole field lake that is also conducting this ministry, this work, and all faith, true sincerity. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.